We are in San Francisco, for honestly no reason at all, playing the brand new Mystic Hero event. And we're gonna start this thing off by shiny shadow checking this Larvitar. Not gonna be a shiny, not gonna be a good one. But we're here in San Francisco for uh, honestly an event that isn't worth grinding apparently. I'm hearing it's not too great, but to be honest, there's special research and there's time research. So I am hyped about that. I love me some research. Before we check out what's going on, hold on. We got a Tangela, not a shiny. Gotta love being in San Francisco with these. Great spawns, baby. Come on, what is that? Vulpix, please. No. Dang, bro, I like this end of the pier cluster spawns right here. In all of my years, literally 25 years of being in the Bay Area, I've never walked down what I'm walking down right now. I mean, literally, you can see I've never spun this stop before. I've never walked down this little uh, this little pier area. We're usually in the heart of Pier 39, but now we are getting to this end of the cluster. I'm gonna start coming here on like community days, go fest, safari zones. We got a drift blim here. Anyways, here's the special research. A mystic hero, four stages. We have to catch 15 Pokemon, use 10 pine apps to make 10 great throws for some okay encounters i'm down and for our time research we need to catch five pokemon transfer three and evolve one easy money nice rewards let's do it quick pause on the time and special research i have a research breakthrough that i need to get out of the way so we can move on 2000 dust five ultra balls didn't get a remote raid pass that's great love that for me but we got a pincer which is kind of cool because apparently rumor on the street mega pincer might be coming to pokemon go pretty soon here and that would be awesome i love mega pincer it's a very very cool one so hopefully uh that's a good sign dango Spencer 12 14 and it's the second worst one possible appreciate it thanks and we finished it up time research is first let's go ahead and grab all of that right now bada bing bada boom claim reward we got 500 dust two rare candies 1000 xp we need to catch 10 pokemon transfer five and evolve three it looks like this just gives us a bunch of goodies nothing crazy i don't know if we have an encounter in here but let's get to the special research right now ladies and gentlemen i don't really know what this event's about i don't know if there's event spawns or anything like that but gosh darn it we're gonna find out and we are in san francisco so we're we're gonna have a great time like i mentioned earlier there's a lot of good spawns as usual all right let's move on to stage two of the research evolve five use 15 berries cast 25 that's gonna take a second but i have a great idea on how to move forward with that also we are in san francisco so let's take a quick look for some reason it's all lured up today this is like a regular thursday at, at noon like what, what's going on right now i don't even know if it gets this lit on a community day bro or a go fest but i'm down sure okay quick interruption i wanted to throw this earlier in the video because this is crazy so i'm with my buddy steve who we play with often pause he watched my last video talking about cosmog and pokemon go check that out if you haven't seen it and he was like to be honest i don't really care about this pokemon and i was like would you trade me it and he was like would you pay for dinner and i'm like yeah so that's exactly what we did we are trading for a cosmoam so i'm going to evolve this in our next adventure he's going to trade me his legendary cosmoam which you can only have one of in pokemon go i'm gonna have two of them and we're gonna evolve it into solgaleo because we already have lunala so this is a crazy trade steve Steve, can you confirm to the people that you are okay with this trade? Yeah, I'm okay with this trade. You know, I don't mind. I, I really do not mind. He doesn't mind. We're going to be giving him a shiny Groudon. I, I said you can have whatever you want. I've given him shiny Mewtwo, so I'm giving him shiny Rayquazas. We're going to do a shiny Groudon for a shiny Cosmoam. Hopefully, I'm recording. I think we're all good. This is crazy. I didn't even think you could trade for a Cosmoam, but here we are trading for a Cosmoam. Here we go. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is lucky, I'm throwing my phone as far as I can. Lucky. Come on. Lucky. Come on. No. 2313 three star grout on shiny heck yeah gg steve ladies and gentlemen cosmo i'm looking for i think 350 was the hundo if this is a hundo steve i will give you my wallet and my credit card for 30 minutes you can do whatever you want boom 330 bro imagine oh if i saw it wrong 330 cosmo I'm. two star could have been worse and for some reason we have two of them and for some reason i have exactly enough candy i don't even know how to evolve this oh whoops to evolve this into solgaleo which we're gonna do in our next adventure that is insane i can't believe we're actually doing this steve thank you very much no i appreciate no that he got plugged in the the trade a three star shiny ground on is pretty gosh darn amazing and we got a cosmo and i didn't even know this was possible and this is gonna be crazy let me know in the comments is there anybody out there with another cosmo i'm sure people have more than one but like not a lot and this is gonna be awesome no way well listen we gotta catch a bunch of pokemon we gotta do a lot of stuff and what better way to do that than by popping our daily incense plus we can see what this event brings to us i'm ready to go here we go daily incense with the new event in san francisco yada 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 three two one let's go and interrupting this Immediately is a 10 kilometer egg. It's so loud right here. Hurry up, Tortuga. First spawn is a legendary bird. It's a Pidove. We got a Woobat. No. Hitmo top. That's a rare spawn. Not shiny though. Ekans. No. Uh, Oshawott. Not shiny. Patrat. No. I think we have a spawn under there, but there's like four Pokemon. Wow, it was a Starly. 
There's like three Pokemon on top of each other. What am I supposed to do? Voltorb. Not shiny. Steve just got a wild Machamp on the incense. That's crazy. And we get a Toga tomorrow. Nice. Toga Kiss on the incense. That's a couple days early. And also, your event just ended. What's going on? Rare spawn, though. I'll take it. Another legendary bird. Come on, man. Clefairy. And a Lediva spawn. Where are the rare spawns? I mean, okay, if you guys haven't seen an adventure like two adventures ago, we, uh, we did run into another bird for the first time in like two months. And I won't spoil what happened, but go check it out. It was awesome. And I'll leave it at that. I'll even take a Swablu right now. Man. And our third patch rod, I think, of the incense. Why? Slowpoke. All right, that's a, you don't see that often. I'll take it. Mankey, mankey, mankey. And uh, Solacis. All right, you know? What are we doing? What are we doing? And a chest bin. Man. All right, Mystic Hero of it. Let me know if you guys have had any luck with it. Obviously, not that crazy right now so far. Aeron, 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 Aeron. Bidoof, legendary. No. And our final spawn, not a shiny to Denny. Yikes. That was uh, not great. You guys remember John made an account about a couple weeks ago, live on Adventure, and he just got his first shiny, a shiny Mawile. Nice. GG. Oh. My first shiny was Magikarp, actually on the first day that shinies were ever released in Pokemon Go. Let me know in the comments if you guys remember your first shiny ever. And Steve gets 11 Pokemon on the incense, a Drifblim, Pupitar, Laron, and Machamp. That is incredible. That is incredible. I wish I had one of those spawns, because we had 22, a lot of garbage. I lied. I, honestly, the Denny, Hitmontop, Togetek, good spawns. Some good opportunities here. Nothing crazy. Two kilometer egg for no reason. That was problem. All right, let's go to an IV check up. We got the Tortuga earlier, Pedov. Can we get a zero, or sorry, 100% IV Pokemon? on the incense. Actually, speaking of 0% IV Pokemon, I gotta show you something later. Ladies and gentlemen, come on. Togetek had good PvP IVs. Doing a little history watching real quick. Uh, okay, let's check the IVs. Please, please, please. Can we get something here? Come on, please. Aaron, Bidoof, Dedenny, and the Bellsprout. Nothing there, bro. All right, and I have finished the time to research. Let's go ahead and move on with that. I feel like the third stage is either gonna be done or really, really easy. Let's go ahead and claim all that good stuff right there. Oh, we have to evolve five Pokemon for a bunch of berries and balls, silver pine apps, a lure module, and some XP. You know what? That's nice and easy, and I'm gonna get it done. But first, the Mystic Hero special research is over, and we have our first encounter reward. Wait, no, we had a Eevee earlier. Our next encounter reward is a Shelmet. These are really random Pokemon. And to finish up stage two, can be all that good stuff right there. Come on, bro, give me something. Carablast. All right, both great shiny opportunities. Also, at the end of this is when we get the new costume Lapras. It seems like, and this is very underwhelming, we're only gonna have one encounter with the costume Lapras, so if you can get a shiny or a good version of it, that's incredible. You know what? Actually, now that I think about it, if they never bring this back and if there's no other opportunities to get this, this is technically one of like top three rarest costume Pokemon we've ever had. I just wonder if that's the case, to be honest. Let's go ahead and move through it. Make three excellent throws, earn five candies walking with your buddy. I don't know if I'm getting that done today and then evolve 10 Pokemon, easy money. All right, we gotta evolve a bunch of Pokemon though, so uh, let's get that done. All right, maybe we can bring in some luck by battling uh, Team Rocket Leader Sierra. Five, 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 that's a cool number. Maybe uh, maybe that's a good Murkrow, possibly. Down goes Murkrow right there. 555. How we doing? Oh, that is a two star. Not a bad one. Not a good one. Here we go. We're hatching a 12 kilometer egg right now. I swear I incubated more than one, but I guess we'll just hatch one. It's a Salandit. Now, if that's a female, of course it's not. It's a male. Ladies and gentlemen, Salandit is horrible. So not only is he useless, it's also bad. Thanks, bro. And here we go. Another 12 kilometer egg right after for some reason. It's a Larvitar. 577 IVs on this are three star. That's not bad. Thank you very much. And we finished up the time to research. Let's go ahead and claim all of that. Berries, Pokeballs, Great Balls, Alder Balls, Silver, Pineapple Berries. A very, very easy time to research to get done. And honestly, I will take all those rewards. Free Magnetic Lure, some XP, some Stardust, all that. Thank you very much. Remember, we have uh, two guaranteed XL candy for evolving Pokemon. Yo, don't forget to take advantage of that. That's actually one of the craziest bonuses. I don't know. I mean, that's wild. Let's actually evolve a Beldum, for example. A Beldum is something I need XL candies for. Let's evolve this and see if this really works. And Matang, we did... I don't know if we got an XL. I think we had 90. Maybe we did. Okay, I'm evolving another Beldum. We had 92 XL candy. So by doing this evolution, we should have 93 or something like that. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if it's a higher chance of getting XLs or if you get more or if it's guaranteed. I have no idea. Really? Uh, wait, is it two XLs? Sorry, I'm going to have to reread this. Two guaranteed... Oh my gosh, I didn't read that right. Two guaranteed XL candy for evolving. Okay, that's insane. I'm going to do a ton of evolutions 
right now. That's crazy. And speaking of an evolution, I want to do this one. We're going to evolve a shiny Shinx right now because it's a really dope evolution. Let's get it done. And let's get some XL candies from it. Here is shiny Luxio in Pokemon Go. Very nice shiny. I had this before. It was a community day, by the way. Just saying. Quick flex. There we go. And now let's go ahead and evolve Luxio into Luxray, which is, you know, for my Gen 4 people out there, this is an amazing Pokemon. Absolutely love it. And it's an incredible shiny. There it is. Shiny Luxray is our shiny evolution of the adventure. Bada bing, bada boom. And I'm pretty sure we just got two guaranteed XL candies. Dude, that's a crazy bonus. I am going to get a lot of XP tonight. Oh, yeah. And speaking of XP, you get double XP for evolving Pokemon during this event, too. So, like, honestly, the event as a whole, weird. But I like the research, the timed, and the special, and the bonuses are fire. I'm cool with it. Now, in terms of the special research, I don't know if we're going to get that done because earn five candies walking with your buddy. I mean, no, just don't want to, you know? I'll probably get that done in the next one, to be honest. But something I wanted to show off to you guys. I got this recently. I don't know how recently. We got a 0% IV Purloin. Remember that a 0% IV Pokemon is the rarest IV set possible in Pokemon Go. It's so hard to get. And I got myself another one, I think, on the Go Plus. Yeah, I believe yesterday or the day before, which is very, very cool. So let's go ahead and rename and mark this thing right now. As you can see, that was my 26th 0% IV Pokemon. I have a pretty awesome collection, honestly. I, I really take pride in these guys because these are, again, super, super hard to get. Let me know in the comments how many 0% IV Pokemon you guys have. We got a nice, solid collection, and we just added to it with a random Purloin. Cool. And that'll do it for today's adventure, ladies and gentlemen. That was crazy. We just traded for that Cosmoum, and uh, I can't believe that was possible. I can't believe I did that. That's crazy. I'm sure some of you guys might be a little bit upset about that. Like, dude, how could he just not care about it? Listen, some people have certain values, and to be fair, Sogalia and Lunala, not the most useful things ever. Well, Lunala's pretty awesome. Honestly, they, they are pretty good, but nothing too relevant right now, and he doesn't really care about it, so glad we made it happen. So GG on that. I cannot wait to evolve that in the next adventure. Let's go!